And Lord, we thank you that you can hear us today. Lord, you know what our prayer concerns even before we utter the words to you, Lord. You are the one that understands you in the situation that we find ourselves in. Lord, together, each one of us, Father, brings our concerns to you. Lord, there are things that we cannot even utter in our own words. There are things that are just beyond words, Father, that are deep concerns, Lord, of our hearts. Father, we ask for your miracle, for your signs and wonders, to do beyond all that we ask or ever imagine. We ask that you might provide, you might intervene, that you give us, Lord, a path towards a solution. We pray for your wisdom. We pray for your guidance and your direction. We pray for your capacity, Lord God, in our hearts to obey and to light our lives with you, Lord, and with your direction and with your laws and commandments and principles of life. Father, we come to you today. We pray that you be the one to mend relationships, to change hearts. Father, we pray that you may be the one to heal our bodies, bring health, restore healing, O Lord, or bring forth your healing upon our bodies. Lord, we hear the prayer concerns for loved ones, for children, for children's children, Lord, for people to be fixed, to be redeemed, Lord God, from the snares of the evil one, from darkness. We pray, Lord, for minds to be altered and changed and transformed and renewed. We pray for hearts to be mended and healed. Lord God, we pray for anxieties to be replaced by faith. We pray for loneliness to be filled with your presence. We pray for warning to be filled with your comfort. We pray for fear, Lord, to be filled with your assurance and confidence. Father, we come to you and we pray, transform our minds, our hearts, and our lives, O oh God, and allow us to live in your very purpose wherever we are, with our families, at work, Lord, in every place that we go to, allow us to be a channel of your love, allow us to be a channel of your joy, your peace, and your wisdom. You heard every prayer that was recited in this room. And Lord, as we have taken time to just study your word, to hear from you, Lord, we are weak, we are limited, but we thank you that we, you honor even the small efforts, Lord, that we actually do in seeking you. So we thank you, Father God, and we will be careful to give you all glory, honor, and praise for all of this. Lord, we lift up to you all the celebrants, Lord God, today. Those that are celebrating tomorrow, like Athena, or that will be celebrating next week, or the like a team and all those that are celebrating the next next weeks or those that celebrated in the past. Father, we bring everyone to you. We pray, Lord, that you might just allow this added year to be a year of getting to know you more and experiencing the reality of our God in a personal way more in your lives. We pray that you would on and you would knock on your hearts, that there would always be a seeking more of you. Lord God and deepening of their relationship with you. Amen. Father, thank you once again for one year of just meeting every month in this place. We ask that you might just allow our meetings to be always filled with your presence. Feed the souls, oh God. Make us understand more the scriptures and the precepts of your ways. Father, allow this monthly gathering to be a time, Lord, where we're just equipped to be your followers. Let's not forget this household, all that they have become a blessing to us, from Kuya James to the Guevara clan, and to everyone that just contributes to make our time here always a blessing to us. We thank you for the presence of all those that are here, and for all those that were not did not make it today. Lord, we thank you for the gift of one another, for giving us capacity, the freedom to be able to gather the way that we do, and fellowship with each other. Lord, from the bottom of our hearts, all of this because of you. We just want to say, to you be given all glory, honor, and praise. All things we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.